It's been a record-breaking day in Rugby Union Six Nations where the Calcutta Cup went to Scotland again, including a first hat-trick in the trophy's history. They beat England 30 points to 21 at Murrayfield. Earlier, Ireland moved a step closer to consecutive Grand Slams with victory over Wales. A correspondent, Andy Swiss, rounds up the action. Yes! So would it be another day for the photo album? After three Calcutta Cup wins in a row, Scotland were chasing a fourth for the first time in over a century. And just listen to their belief. But if Scotland had the passion, England had the early poise. And they soon surged ahead through George Furbank. Try, surely, and it is, and it's Furbank! Just as last year, though, enter one extraordinary player, as Duan van der Merwe turned it round in the most remarkable fashion. If his first try was good, his second was simply extraordinary. Just watch this, as from his own half, he left England's players floundering and Scotland's fans roaring. Duan van der Merwe for the corner. Remember, van der Merwe scored twice at Twickenham 12 months ago. Here he went one better as after the break he grabbed his hat trick and the headlines. Van der Merwe again is in, smiling and scoring a hat trick. England were beaten and to Murrayfield's delight, a now familiar sight. Well, what a breathless, breathtaking match that was, and what a win for Scotland. Just look what it means to these players. Their fourth Calcutta Cup in a row, sealed in the most thrilling fashion. The big question remains, though, can anyone beat Ireland? Against Wales in Dublin, they weren't quite at their best, but they were still far too good. James Lowe with the pick of their first half tries before Tyg Byrne rounded off a 31-7 win. Tyg Byrne! Byrne! Three wins out of three for the champions, and after last year's Grand Slam, another just might be beckoning. Andy Swiss, BBC News.